President Rodrigo Duterte accuses the Anti-Money Laundering Council and the Banco Central ng Pilipinas or Central Bank of allegedly contributing to a smear campaign against him during the 2016 polls. Duterte challenges the two agencies to explain why they have not investigated accusations he didn't declare 211 million pesos in bank accounts. I'd like to address myself to the Central Bank guys and the AMLA. Alamo, I'd like to warn you to avoid a confrontation between us, Central Bank people. If I had that money, why did you not initiate an investigation? So you could not tell the public because you were protecting somebody during the election campaign, Senator Antonio Trillanes accused Duterte of not disclosing around 211 million pesos he supposedly had in bank accounts. Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre also supposedly told Duterte that the AMLAC and BSP are, quote, hard to deal with. You better go to the Secretary of Justice or I will go to you. I will call for you. And you have to answer so many questions. You choose. But do not make it hard for us. Otherwise, I will make it hard for you. Senate President Coco Pimentel tells Communication Secretary Martin Andanar, Review your history. This comes after Andanar called those who opposed the hero's burial for the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos as brats. Pimentel says, quote, they can never be called brats. These are actually principled positions. So Martin Andanar should review his history. In his newspaper column, Andanar says, quote, Both the Americans protesting the outcome of a fair election and the Filipinos objecting to the welcome to the ruling of our own Supreme Court are undermining institutions. They are temperamental brats refusing to concede to the outcome of regular processes. The Supreme Court last week ruled there is no law preventing Marcos from being buried at the Libingan ng Mga Bayani or Hero Cemetery. Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales orders the dismissal of Senator Joel Villanueva from public service over the alleged misuse of his pork barrel fund during his time as party list representative. Morales says Villanueva was found guilty of grave misconduct, serious dishonesty, and conduct prejudicial to the interest of the service. The case involves the anomalous disbursement of 10 million pesos of his pork barrel allocation. Villanueva is facing charges of graft and malversation of public funds for supposedly releasing 10 million pesos to a fake NGO in 2008. The fund was supposedly meant for the purchase of farming supplies for several municipalities in Compostela Valley but investigations showed the municipalities weren't suitable for farming and there were ghost beneficiaries. Villanueva says his signature in the documents was forged. He says, quote, The NBI has already made a conclusion that the signatures on the related documents were forged. The neophyte senator adds, quote, I already filed a motion for reconsideration before the ombudsman and will leave it to the Senate president to act on the ombudsman's order. Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa doesn't regret accepting an all-expenses-paid trip to watch Senator Manny Pacquiao's recent boxing match. The office of the Ombudsman ordered a probe on it last week. I, I, I respect the office of the Ombudsman uh, remains uh, <laughs> De La Rosa earlier admitted he didn't spend anything for the trip because Pacquiao shouldered the costs. De La Rosa adds, quote, I'll go to jail if I did something wrong. But what's important is that I'm honest. I did not lie. I told the truth to be transparent. If I did that, then I'm man enough to go to jail if proven guilty. Senator Manny Pacquiao again teases the possibility of a rematch with Floyd Mayweather. 
Pacquiao shows the lining of his sports coat with an image of the Filipino boxer throwing a right-hand punch on the right side and Mayweather blocking a punch on the left side. Pacquiao lost a unanimous decision to Mayweather in May 2015. Mayweather hasn't fought since September 2015 but is rumored to be training again. Rumors of a rematch kicked into high gear when Mayweather watched Pacquiao's fight against Jesse Vargas last November 5. Pacquiao said he invited Mayweather to watch the fight.